So you said Bitcoin, the Lightning Network runs on the Bitcoin second layer, right? Yeah, yeah. The Bitcoin network. The Lightning, the Lightning, the network, Lightning network runs on the second layer of the Bitcoin network. Correct, yeah. So how many layers does it have? Bitcoin, so right now we can point to three layers. Uh, the third layer is more, I don't know, by the time you get to the third layer, you can do so much more. I don't think we'll ever talk about fourth layers. Um, but uh, so I'm glad you asked that question. First layer, Bitcoin protocol. Confirms every 10 minutes. It's you know built like stone and steel, right? Um, second network, se second layer is the Lightning uh, network. That allows your transactions to move faster, right? And you can send you know one sat, right, or 10 sat. So this is a fraction of a penny, right? Um, instantly and free. Third layer is where we get into building applications um, and tools uh, all using Bitcoin, right? And so you have a company called um, Impervious.ai. So what they're looking to do is they're looking to replace all of the companies that we know, right? So it's Google without Google, you know, WhatsApp without WhatsApp, Medium without Medium, you know, all of the centralized um, social media tools that we use every day. I think we can agree there's a problem with social media, right? They, you know, they, so if, if we can agree that there is a problem with social media, companies like Impervious.ai, building on the third layer will be the solution. Um, and we probably won't get into, uh, you know, other layers or anything like this. All right, uh, second question is more in regards to your opinion. So I want to start from a historical background. Just about uh, three months ago, there was a capital flight from Ethiopia, right? So everybody was, you know, loaning money from the bank, uh, getting loans from the bank, converting it to the dollars on the black market and running away. And I think it became like from the official exchange rate, something like 70% or 50% difference, the black rate and the official rate. The way to stop that was uh, M, the National Bank of Ethiopia prohibited all loans, like bl completely blacked out. It actually solved the problem of capital flight and uh, dramatically reduced, like to well, what one percent or two percent difference. But if we implement uh, Bitcoin on the Ethiopia, if Ethiopia makes it an official tender, would that kind of responsibility will not uh, uh, fall on the National Bank of Ethiopia? It's completely sovereign. Do you think that's a good idea, like considering this kind of situations? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> now I believe it's a great idea because of who I am and my upbringing and my thoughts and you know I consider myself a libertarian and I don't like the state and I think the state you know takes too much and does too much and what Ethiopia and National Bank and, and the regulators did I think is very unfair I mean Durum retention account of no what a salasa percent of your money never gets to you you know Sava percent and demo but was an exam at the command of them and I'm demo mulu and mulu they're just taking my money <laughs> you know so I don't look at this as a long-term solution. Short-term fix, absolutely. In the past three months, we saw some black market prices going down, right? Um, I, maybe the diaspora season had something to do with this. Maybe some, some you know, favors from, I think, Turkey had given us some sort of, you know, as in capital, right? So did it reduce capital flight in the short term, right? In the th past three months, and gee, in the next three years, will we see our bank rate continue at 50? Will we see our black market rate continue at you know, 65, 67? I don't think so. I think the numbers will grow because purely Ethiopia has never fulfilled its capital requirements in terms of import export. And so um, it's a short term solution. I don't think it's a long term solution, but you know, we'll see. And yeah, Bitcoin might exacerbate this, but you might also like to think that it'll bring good capital, it'll bring good investors, it'll bring honest value and people will take pride in having um, an asset, right? And, and, and they won't feel as though there's been a theft of time or a theft of their energy. Because right now, if you're holding on to burr, you're a joker, right? Uh, I think we understand that. So, we'll see. Uh, last question to build on the on your answer. So starting from November, Bitcoin has lost about 50% of its value due, due to geopolitical issues. Not due to technical issues or market issues, just geopolitical issues. Making this an official tender, would that not be risky? Again, 
because suddenly losing in three month or four month 50% value is like ridiculous. I mean, Absolutely. that's why we hate bull, right? <laughs> As you just said. So thing uh, goes with Bitcoin. So, Thank you. So, uh, yeah. so yes, Bitcoin has lost a lot of value in the past three months. It went from a price of I think 62K to now 35K, right? So using it as a medium of exchange, using it as a legal tender, I'm sure there are some merchants in El Salvador that are not very happy, right? So that's a, that's a very good point. And so, and we might also make the point that, you know, Bitcoin is not a good medium of exchange. You know, that might be our conclusion. Um, and if that is, you know, maybe we still use the Ethiopian bur as the, like I said, the tra tra transaction layer, right? Um, but it's backed by Bitcoin, right? So you and I both have Bitcoin as a store of value, right? Long-term savings. Our, both our country, Ethiopia, has Bitcoin as a long-term store of value. So you're completely right. It might not make sense in this phase of where we are because the price fluctuations are so high, 30% volatility. So Bahun Gaze, I la la commerce la wat Me, I look at you know holding bur and and and, and uh, dollar, and because I don't like the long term volatility of the dollar, right? The dollar is slowly going to zero. Karugaze Charlie Munger mi pal investor alla Berkshire Hathaway Warren Buffett partner no X Y and Z na. You know, <laughs> Dafro Bloomberg lie. He said, over the pat, over the next hundred years, the dollar. Um, if, if you're a cautious investor, it, you know it, it's best to assume that over the next hundred years, the dollar is going to zero. This is what the premier investor in the United States said. You know, his interest is to protect the dollar. He has all the dollars in the world. So. The short-term volatility, I think when we look at the long-term effects, they're not going to matter as much. Um, for my specific uh, case, every two weeks I buy Bitcoin. Uh, it's called uh, DCA, dollar cost average. Look, the Mosey Sigaba, Mawatana Watana, savings in, what a Bitcoin Kayralo. So for me, the volatility being down these past three months, but I'm taking because I believe in the long term, you know, I'm not I don't I hope I don't need this money in the next five, ten years. So, again, you're right. It's not the best medium of exchange because of the volatility. Again, as this thing gets towards the gold value of 10 trillion, I want under trillion, what under trillion sita it's going to become more uh, saturated, the market. Um, and, uh, and like a big ship, it's going to be harder to steer. You know, relatively tenish lohana tolonomin nakanak